All right, guys, this is the tutorial for the Transcend Spirit Link app. It's now available on iOS and Android in the app stores. But this video, before you download it and use it, watch this video. I explain what it is, how spirits use it. I give you a little bit of tips on how to connect and I go over all of the settings for you. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Who's here with me? Ray White. Ray White. Terror attack somewhere in the world soon that we need to know about. This attack. Will this war expand to the United States? Spirit, come on in. This is Steve Huck. Real. Yes, it's real. There's a spirit here. You're coming from my right. Why? Back. Were you, did you die from head injury? Helen. Helen. Here. Yes. And fall. I saw. You saw. See. Ray. Ray. Ray's still here. All right, spirits. I am going to go back to to the main house here. Fat. Fat? Am I getting fat? Are you telling me I'm getting fat? I've been eating a lot all winter, but I'm not fat. Come on. That's how if you have a message. Paul. Paul in. Thank you, Paul. Paul in now. Thank you, Paul. Steve. <gasps> That's me! I hear the wind outside. I know you You can come through, spirit. Trying. Trying, I know. Thank you. It's tricky if you've never used it before. I could understand that. You're coming through the halls, the door. Freedom. Freedom. This is amazing. There's a spirit coming through the tunnel they talk of. What kind of car is this? It's an old car. Blew a left tire, front. Seize. I see it right. I see, it's like a golden kind of color. Your car crashed, rolled. The three of you were in the car. Oh, but you rolled into other traffic. Say it, he wants me to say it. They rolled into other traffic on the other side of the highway somehow. Me. That was you, right. And your EO. So you were driving. Is that correct? Car. Car, right. This is amazing. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> They just validated car after showing me the tire after the car accident and the tire blowing. We'll see you. We'll see you. Hopefully, I'm not going to uh, pass away soon. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. All right. Welcome, everyone. This is going to be the tutorial segment of this video. I'm going to talk about how this app works, how spirits use it, and how you can use it to try and connect with spirits. But remember, this is a tool. This is not a magic box. There's no spirit box or app made that will attract spirits to you. We connect with spirits through us, through our energy. I've talked about it for years. I've been doing this for 13 years. And connection relies on our energy melding with spirit energy. It's easy to do. You just have to be open. But I'll talk about tips on connecting after I show you what this app is all about. So this is an app, a collaboration between Keith Weldon, Chris Rogers, and myself. It's called Transcend Spirit Link. There's never been an app for it, or for ITC like this, ever. 
Nothing has ever been made like this. This uses scientific principles. It's advanced. It's professional. This is not a gimmick app. It's not filled with scary words and scary music to make you think you're talking with spirits. This is an app that, um, especially those of you who like to go to locations, uh, houses, uh, spots that are haunted. Now, I will say that spots aren't really haunted. We are haunted. We attract the spirits. And when we go to a haunted location, it is our energy, our little bit of fear, a little bit of excitement that attracts the spirits to us. So let's go over what this app is all about and why it's different from any other app ever made. Now, most apps made use either words programmed in. Some are fake. Some give you scary words that pop up to make you think you're talking to a ghost. Some use scary music and sound effects, all worthless, all useless for true spirit contact. Some apps use radio scanners. Boxes use radio scanners. That's kind of old tech these days. Uh, spirits can use those radio bits. They manipulate that little bit of audio, but it's very hard for spirits to use, and it's usually not clear. Radio, I no longer use it. I stopped using radio scanners years ago because it hindered uh, the communication. Um, some apps use white noise. White noise, you can uh, get EVPs out of them, but it's not really anything like this where you can actually have a back and forth. So there's no gibberish, no loaded sound banks, no audio, no speech, nothing like that in here. Um, so there's nothing that can be false positive. Um, I had a bunch of clips where I was going back and forth. Spirits were validating what they were showing me. They called my name. All kinds of things. Anytime you hear a relevant reply to you talking, that is a spirit. You can't explain it any other way. This app does not use your microphone, so it's not going to ask for permission to use the mic. You can turn it off. It doesn't use the internet. Feel free to turn off the internet. It doesn't use AI. Uh, none of that is in this app. This app uses the alphabet. Letters. There are letters of the alphabet all the letters, as well as two combo letters uh, inside of this app. And these letters are there for spirits to use uh, and form words and even longer phrases uh, if they're really connected to you strongly. And this is undebunkable. Any skeptic who says it's fake, you can't debunk it because this app is not fake. If you hear answers to your questions, as I've shown you that I've gotten, it is undeniable, undebunkable. So let's get to the app. The play button starts the app, but before you do that, you're going to want to go into settings, which I'll show you in a second. You then have a transcribe button and a filter button. I'll explain what those do, but let's go to settings. Now you have two themes, a light theme and a dark theme. All that does is change the color of the app. It has nothing to do with light or dark spirits. If you turn off the dark theme, you'll see it's very bright white. If you turn on the dark theme, it's a darker theme. I personally feel the dark theme is easier on the eyes, especially if you're going to be in a dark location or anything like that. It's not as jarring. So in the settings, you see the voice speed. I like to put the voice speed about right there. And this voice speed comes from me. Uh, as you guys know, I've made devices over the last decade and over the last few years I've been using voice slowdown in my devices because it made it so much easier to understand what spirits are saying. Um, and we incorporated it into this app and this is the first time a true voice slowdown has been implemented in a true ITC app. Now you have reverb. We discovered over a decade ago that reverb was dramatically helping spirits to talk and reply. I made a video a decade ago about it and showed the difference between no reverb and having reverb. Spirits were talking and validating with reverb on. They were not with reverb off. So this will come loaded like this. I like to turn this down a little bit more um, like so. And that keeps everything clear, right? You're going to hear the clearest voice when they connect uh, that you've heard. Um, so no more hard to understand words. Now here's a thing called filter strength. I'll talk about that in a second. Then you have another button called text log. Now the version I have here, the text log is not quite done yet, but it will be done by the time you're watching this video. What the text log will do is show you a log of every reply that came in during your session. That way 
if you didn't record it, say, or you were just in, in a room doing a session to see what would happen and you got an amazing thing, you could go back to the text log and see the replies that came in. This video tutorial button will take you directly to the video you're watching now on YouTube. Um, so let's go to the filter strength. You have low, medium, and high. Now the filter, what the filter does, you see the filter button here, and that would be on then. What the filter does is the way this app works, as I told you, it has letters of the alphabet. And at random, every so often, the system is going to try to play a word, or not play a word, just play a sound using these letters. And if we turn it to low, you're going to hear a lot of things that make no sense because in that way, it's the app itself pushing these forward, pushing these out, and it's going to sound like gibberish. So we still will hear gibberish if a spirit doesn't connect. You're not hearing a different language. You're not hearing anything like that. It just means no spirit is connected. Now, how does the filter strength coincide with this? Uh, if you put it on low, that means more gibberish will come out. Um, you're going to hear more gibberish. You can still have spirit connect, but there's going to be more that you don't understand in between uh, spirit replies. But there's a pro of using low, and that is you might have more opportunity to get um, longer replies maybe or more words said. Medium strength um, will eliminate a lot of the gibberish because this has a text from speech system built in. Now, when you hear a word and the text shows up, like when it said my name and it said Steve, that doesn't mean that that text doesn't know that it's really saying Steve because that is not a word that's programmed in. That word doesn't exist in here. Um, so when a word is said, the text from speech tries to guess what was said so it's not always accurate but it i'd say it's 85 90 percent accurate always listen with your ears on the medium filter strength more of that gibberish uh, if the system detects that it's not a word or a phrase it will filter it out and you won't hear it if you put it on high that filter becomes more aggressive to where you shouldn't hear any gibberish and you might uh, if you're not connected it might be silent for longer periods of time but if a spirit is connected, you will hear more of that conversational flow. So I kind of used it with all of these. I do like low. Um, I do like medium. Uh, high, I'm finding I get smaller words when spirits do speak. So I like to keep it on medium. It all depends. I'm still kind of experimenting with it. I've gotten replies using any filter sentence. Just know on low, it's not going to filter out the gibberish or most of it on high it'll filter out most of the gibberish and leave you with what the system thinks are actually words being formed by spirit that's something to experiment with all right we go back to the main screen we're all done with the settings this turns the filter on and off you could actually leave the filter off but you're probably going to get a lot of gibberish especially if you're not connected to spirit once you connect to a spirit and they're using it with you that gibberish will go away while that spirit is there and you'll hear what they're saying if you're only hearing gibberish or nothing that makes sense, you're not connected to a spirit. All right, transcribe. That is the text from speech system here. You could leave it off and just listen with your ears. You can turn it on and the system will put text uh, for every reply, what it thinks is being said. Some mistakes it makes if you say how many spirits are here and it comes back with the word two, it might say T-O instead of T-W-O, but the spirit means two as in the number two. So use your ears and, you know, again, listen to the question you're asking. Is Billy or Ed here? Can you give me a yes or no or the names? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. So they're not here. Is another guide here? Who is with me now? Here. Here. I like how you validate through this that you're here. We're just starting this little session to see who we can connect with. Shy. You're shy? If you're shy, that's okay. You know, I, I was always shy in life. I'm still shy in life. But when I was young, I was extremely shy. I see Sally. You see Sally? Sally, Miss 
Sally Nissum. Nissen. You can talk. Come on in. Under For proof. For proof. Now go. Thank you. So over the many years I've done this, I've noticed anytime an app comes out, um, some people think that the app is connecting to the spirits. That's not the case at all. The app or the box or whatever tool you use or anyone uses, some of you use boxes, apps, what have you, anything you use, the spirits are not attracted to the tool, they're attracted to you. Now remember, spirits are energy. We put out energy every moment that we're alive. Um, and here's just a brief crude example. Let's say we're going to try to accomplish or record a session or have a session with spirit using Transcend. If your mindset at that time is fearful, if you're afraid of it, or you have negative thoughts, or you're just miserable that day, you have stress and you're just not a happy person, I would skip trying the session because that energy you're putting out, that negative energy, is an energy that negative, darker souls are attracted to. If you put out light and love and you're happy and you're a positive person and you're kind to the spirits, that's why I always talk to them with love and I live my life that way to the best of my ability, then you will attract light souls and that is when you will start feeling their energy um, there's, it can go as deep as you want it to, uh, but I won't talk about all of that because this is just basically, I'm going to give you some pointers on how to use the app and connect. And I'll tell you what I do. So I never do a session if I'm stressed or upset or depressed or, or mad or anything like that. Um, because I know that that can attract the wrong kind of spirits. I will say over the 13 years I've done this work, it has done nothing but um enlightened me it has made my life so much better not financially but just mentally it has made me see what is important in life what is not important it has made me live life every day with love and kindness and drop fear anger all of those negative things so this work for me has been a lifesaver a soul saver so to speak nothing negative about it for me but when i do a session I, I will put the app down in front of me, say right here, and I will close my eyes. And the first thing I do is I envision myself sitting in a room with no windows, just a door in front of me. And before that door opens, I envision a beam of energy, light energy going through my head and out of my body, filling the entire room. And I'm envisioning this clearly. And then I will say, to the guides, you can open the door and I envision that door opening and I see the energy, the souls coming in. And as that happens, I'd say 85% of the time, I can feel a rush of energy over me. When we envision, I believe strongly, we are really, uh, when I envision these spirits coming in, I, I believe 1000% they are there waiting to come in because they then come in and will oftentimes validate everything they see. They talk of the light, the room. Um, so it's a process for me. Uh, I'd go through this five, 10 minute, you know, solo meditation, envisioning these things. And I kindly ask for the spirits to come through if they want to speak. And I welcome them with love, light, empathy, care, trust. Um, for me, that has really, really um, taken my connection level way high. Uh, back in the early days of doing this, I would do sessions without care. I'd do it if I was mad. I'd do it if I had a beer or two in me. And that's when, you know, I would get the lower level spirits. It wasn't um, optimal. But if you want to connect to high level spirits or even say ask for one of your loved ones um, in the light, um, ask for them, envision them, uh, envision your loved one coming down and talk to them in your mind and then ask for them aloud. Now, it, it is not easy to do, um, but it is possible. It does happen. You might use the app 10 times and have nothing and then try it one day and boom, you get a connection. Uh, there was one night I was in bed with Debbie and I just turned it on. I had gotten a new version. I wanted to see what was different. And this voice said, I'm Trevor. 
and he just started talking to us and we weren't recording or anything and this is before the log mode um so it you know and it was like the morning or the day before i was getting nothing so when i sit down with the app i don't always connect with the spirit i will say if you use this on location say you like to go to location say you're a team it's that energy you guys put out when you hit that location that excitement that little bit of fear that anticipation that's what draws the spirits to you and when you can draw spirits to you they will want to use a device like this so this app gives the spirits the tools to use scientifically so no one can ever say you're faking or no one can ever say that word is programmed in no one can ever say this app has AI or it's using the microphone and listening to you and coming back with a program word. None of that is happening. That's not how this app works. It's scientifically based and will only work if you connect with a spirit. But what makes this better than say even the Miracle Box app um, that was our last collaboration with Keith, um, I loved that app for the time, but it used gibberish, reverse speech as the audio source and spirits would have to change it to forward speech, which spirits did that for many of you. I have so many emails from people who use the Miracle Box. How this is better than the Miracle Box is it's way clearer and um, it just is easier to have a conversational based thing with spirit once you connect the miracle box you had to connect as well so let's move on to a frequently asked questions really quick so a quick little bit here frequently asked questions um, will this bring evil into my home no the way evil or dark spirits work is it's like I said if you are always focusing on negativity or dark or you have problems within your life at this time, it's best not to use this because you can get those lower level spirits coming in. Now, I had a problem one time about 11, 10, 10 years ago maybe, I don't even know how long it's been now, where I was attacked by a spirit, but I was very deep in all of this, making devices, posting videos daily, communicating daily. I was a little careless with what I was doing and here I am alive and I came out the better for it because it was that experience uh, that taught me more about the light and why it's important to focus on love when we do this kind of thing. Once I did that and changed my whole approach, my communication went 10 levels higher. Um, now, the next question. So, you know, if, if you're fearful of it, I'll just say this, if this scares you in any way, don't use it because it is our fear that will terrorize us more than any spirit. It's that fear we have within us that can take over and destroy us um, and just, just make us so fearful. Um, I don't fear this at all. I don't fear death at all because I know what awaits. Um, so, But some people um, do fear it and I would say I wouldn't use it now if you do use it and you're afraid and you get something that comes in I've never gotten a negative reply on this it doesn't mean you can't if you get a spirit come in who wants to be a trickster or not so nice they can do that if they do that and you're afraid turn it off and don't use it um, and next time you use it focus on love light have no fear and you'll be good now next question I'm gonna get asked is is there a language associated with this there's no language associated with this at all. In fact, if you're using it with a different language, I would turn off the transcribe. I wouldn't use transcribe because listen with your ears. Spirits can take those letters and they can form somehow, they can form different languages out of it. Uh, I've seen them do it. I've seen them do it in other methods, um, but the transcribe might not show the word correctly because it's going to try you know, to um, try to figure out what that word is in English, the text. Um, so I would not use transcribe and I would turn off the filter if you're speaking in a different language. Spirits will speak the language you speak if they connect. There's no such thing as language on the other side. Spirits don't have language. Again, spirits don't have a body. They're not physical. They are energy. They've told me this hundreds of times. They've shown me this. They've gone through me hundreds of times, thousands of times. That's a fact. So if you're talking a different language, 
turn off transcribe and turn off filter and listen with your ears and you might start hearing answers in your language. Again, spirits will speak the language you understand and you speak. Again, there's no sound banks, no words preloaded. If you're getting answers to your question and it all makes sense, there is a spirit there with you. Period. End of story. Um, what's another question? It's on iOS and Android. The price, I believe Keith said, will be $12.99 as this was six months in the making. And there's three of us who were involved in making it. So $12.99 for Transcend Spirit Link. Um, what's another question? I already addressed the reverb, why we have reverb. I already addressed the filter strength and the voice speed. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. I set it down, get the mood, focus on the spirits, turn it on and see what happens. You might freak out uh, because like I have, when they called my name and just started talking to me, told me I was getting fat over the winter because I was eating too much. Crazy stuff. So uh, I can't wait to get some feedback. Remember, this is a true ITC app and um, nothing like it's been done. So um, this is unique. It's based on scientific principles. It's real. You're not always going to get results with it. You're not always going to talk to spirit. But when everything is just right and the spirits are attracted to you at that moment, they might just sit and talk to you. So there you go. Transcend Spirit Link available now on the app stores, iOS and Android for $12.99. Much love to you all. Let me know in the comments below if you use this app. Uh, again, you're not going to always get, you're going to get somebody, I didn't get anything. You're not going to get something all the time. That's up to you guys. So um, yeah, let me know your experiences with the app, what you got with it, what you did with it. And uh, I will see you guys soon. I'll be putting out some videos here on a more regular basis using this. And uh, I think Debbie will be in some new videos with me too. So Looking forward to it. Love you all, and I will see you in the next one.